Super Saiyan Viper. Today we got a couple crime stories to cover. You know, I just saw Jeffrey Rogers got hit with like 24 charges. They don't want that man to live at all. For those of you who have a crazy good memory, you remember this dude right here with the foam and the crust outside of his mouth. He still is wanted. And I was looking close, and the man is standing at five foot five. Bro, if you're at least five foot six and taller, definitely drop a like on this video. If you're under five foot six, drop a comment and subscribe, I guess. And thirdly, four people were shot today. So it says literally right here an hour ago, four people were shot. So we have to talk about that too. Now getting into the main story though, Jeffrey Rogers, you know Jeffrey Rogers, he runs GSL News. He got locked up because I guess back in the day at some point he stole a car. I don't know if it was a cop car or a regular car, but they added a ton of new charges. Let's read them real quick. They added fleeing from an officer in a motor vehicle, reckless driving, failure to obey a police officer, failure to keep right to lane, just a dick sucking cop at that point. <laughs> unsafe passing on the left driving left of pavement markings one-way violation designated road move from lane unsafely improper left turn on a one-way road unsafe turn failure to signal illegal signal fail to stop at a stop sign speed violation driving without an inspection driving without insurance a safety glass violation super dick sucking by the cop just to add insufficient tail lamps inadequate or no stop lamps improper front slash rear bumper unregistered vehicle again license violation and an aggravated unlicensed operation of a vehicle oh wait one more obstruction of a governmental administ no idea what that is but damn this is absurd this reminds me of the clip with like the midget and he's like what were you arrested for Aggravated burglary, aggravated robbery, aggravated trafficking, receiving stolen property, theft, grand theft, felonious assault, and assault. Whatever cop was on duty, he is a prestige master dick sucker. All of these charges are like what you see they do when they just want to add stuff. Or they maybe they added these charges so they could scare Jeffrey Rogers into just taking a plea deal because they want him to face some time. But even outside of that, this is like one of the biggest plot twists in history. I didn't know Jeffrey Rogers even had it in him to be on demon time and steal a car in the first place. And I think I read in the article, if I remember correctly, he threatened whoever he was was with so it's like damn again i did not know jeffrey rogers had that dog in him this is like a real life scooby-doo episode but uh to conclude that hopefully he gets like a lenient sentence or whatever it was a while ago the law is the law you know what i'm saying he broke it it is what it is i mean most people have done one crime except me my criminal record is absolutely flawless but you know some people can't help themselves now moving on to the next story august 26th of 2023 on saint paul street and avenue a a man was stabbed it doesn't say if he's expected to live or not i would assume he's expected to live or else they would have put like in critical condition or something but what's good with these like extra stabbing incidents it's starting to turn into like the uk and in a city like rochester i mean i'm not saying what you should or shouldn't do but you would hate to be caught with a knife at a gunfight but moving on to the next story august 29th of 2023 four separate people were shot today so basically if i'm getting the story correct from these tweets i'm reading on manhattan square drive there was people fighting with bats and i guess the bat fight escalated and then people started dumping shots after they started shooting they started to flee the scene and they got stopped on east main and sio street when they stopped the vehicle they found somebody with a gunshot wound then after that a vehicle crashed into another vehicle then i guess you know somehow they kept dumping shots and in total four people got shot which is kind of ridiculous but they're all expected to live i'm pretty sure in the final story of the day we got this fella right here who is accused of grand larceny and the thing about him is that he can see you coming from every direction pause so even if the cops do see him he's probably gonna know in advance and sprint 
sprint away. But with all that being said, what do you guys think about the GSL news story? What do you think about the crusty foam mouth, dude? What do you think about the increase in stabbing cases? And I just want to say, man, this is like a video just to hold you over. I got a crazy Glockchester stories dropping either tomorrow or the next day about movie gang. It's movie gang part two. Probably the most wild people in movie gang. Like I thought Tay Sab was crazy and everybody else i made a video about was crazy but this one is going to be insane so if you haven't subscribe to the channel so that youtube reminds you when i post thank you for tuning in definitely check out my other content if you haven't like comment subscribe big viper mom man peace Walking that bitch, get critical. Dance moves,